downtime, we live. Oh, with the feelings, when it's no time, I go lie, lie from the kitchen with a ditch. Get your dad for and whip it. Whip a brick when you break the whole brick down, this way to the kitchen. That glaze frost wrist, how you fucking all these bitches. We back at you, smash and dash. Know what I'm saying? With my brother, smash. What's up with you, man? What's What's popping, Twinsky? I feel like it'd be like hella long in between these weeks we'd be talking, but it'd only be a week. What's going on with that? Yeah, it'll only be a week, man. Look like you got a little bit of new energy, man. Like you oh, like you're in Florida or something like that, man. What you got going on? Yeah, I'm definitely down here in this sunny Florida, man. Y'all <laughs> try to take me out with the hurricane, but I bounced back, man. So Mm. I'm glad we made it out of it. You know, when we was down here, they was talking it was going to be crazy. So I was kind of nervous. I can't lie. But after only losing power for, what, like four or five hours, we bounced back. And, you know, I think I'm going to be right back downtown uh, this weekend hanging. You feel me? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, how I want to start this off, man, you know, uh, you know, I got a couple of topics hey, for you. Hold on, no, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. Before you even start, don't start no bullshit today, 2K. Let's have a good, clean podcast. You know what I'm saying? We're going to enjoy this. We ain't going to get too wild. Don't come in here with no bullshit today, 2K. Man, you know, I'm always, you know, I'm just keeping it cool and collect. You know what I'm saying? I just want to start by this because, you know, I done, I played alongside a guy by the name of Smash. And I've seen the back and forth. I've seen the get into it. I seen the shoving matches between coaches. Know what I'm saying? I seen you, I seen you do yeah. this. I seen all this. You know, you know, I always used to tell you I wish we could have had a reality show. We wish we could have had cameras back back then. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We would have been crazy. It would have been great. So that's but, I want to touch on it. So I want to touch on the whole Ravens Bills game and the reason why I say the shoving match because Marcus Peters, I seen him get upset on the sideline. He was going back and forth with trying to get the hardball and stuff like that. But before we get to Marcus Peters, I want to tell how I feel about the whole situation and it's speculation. People don't really know the reason, but my reason is thinking that Marcus Peters was so upset because. Harbaugh didn't kick that field goal to go up to three points and they was down in the res. I think they were probably like at the five, 10 yard line, something like that, could have kicked kick the yeah. easy chip shot, went up three points and put their defense on the field and gave them the best chance to win the game. So when I was watching the game, though, when I was watching the game, what I said, I'm like, man, we down here, we 20, it's tied up, 20 to 20. Um, Lamar drove drove him all the way down. It's fourth and goal. Yeah. You either kick the field goal, go up three, put your defense out there, and, hey, man, y'all play D, win us the game. Put it on your defense back. Or, like most people say, we got the MVP, put it in his hand, win us the game. Man, listen, at the end of the day, my thoughts is, man, we kick that field goal, put it on our defense back, go win us the game. That's what I think. Like, you don't do that. Like, you don't you, – you got points on the board. You take those points off the board. Go for it. Throw an interception. Now, you talking about a guy, a potential MVP, put the ball in his hands and don't yeah. think he'll be able to come down the field? Josh Allen, you don't think he'll be able to come down the field and get okay. three points? You giving, it, you giving okay. the game exactly. away. Okay, so like my, my, my partner Lee Corso would say, not so fast, my friend. I get what you're saying. But as me and you was play, watching that game, we realized that number 17 on the other side is a gangster. So it don't matter what the hell Lamar was doing. If he didn't get seven, he was going to lose regardless. So Harbaugh exactly did no. what he was supposed to do. No, he didn't. He knew if he gave that ball back to number 17, he was going to go down and score. So them three didn't matter at all, young. See, see. You're crazy. Bro, what was the game with the, what it's worth. You just, What was the final score? 20 to 23. You mean? That's what I'm saying. You got to give your, in this game, 
And at this game, my whole my whole thought is if I'm on that Baltimore, if I'm on the Baltimore, listen, if I'm on Baltimore, if I'm on Baltimore Ravens defense, I no longer believe that our coach have our back. He don't believe in us. Yeah, don't believe it then. And I don't believe y'all got my back because y'all couldn't stop shit anyway. That's the reason why I gave Lamar the ball to try to score because I knew damn well y'all wasn't going to stop shit. See, that's the problem. Y'all be, bruh, yes, we have Lamar. We have the former MVP and he's been balling. Of course, I'm going to give him the ball in his hands because normally what? He makes plays. Mm. Secondly, the defense ain't been doing shit. The reason why Marcus Peters was mad is because, yes, they wanted him to score so they can try to get the ball back to score real fast, but they was trying to get the three points. It didn't make sense at that point. Josh had got all the no. way down to the one, two yard line. He did exactly what no. he wanted to do. Today. No way. And he ran the no time down and kicked the field goal. He could have scored a touchdown if he wanted to. That's why they were mad. No I'm way. Saying. Let me tell you one thing. They tried to give up the touchdown. No. Let me tell you one thing. I hit my cousin. I hit my cousin the other day. I hit my cousin after the um, game, Marcus Peters, and I'm like, bro, what's going on? My cousin, I'm just capping, I ain't hit dog, but listen, what yeah, really shit. happened was, what really happened was, Marcus Peters was upset that Jim Harbaugh didn't kick that field goal and put it on the defense back and gave him a chance. Hey, he was so upset. That's why he was upset. He could be upset. It didn't matter because Josh Allen went right down the field and got them on. If he wanted to score. And got a three. It could have been three up. That's going to overtime and give us a chance. At least give us a shot. Give us a chance. Because he ran out all the time. He Give us a chance. ran out all the time. Anything could happen, man. Give us a chance. Pin them deep. Make them go 80. I will feel better. I will feel better. I will feel better about that loss if we kick the field goal. And we're up 20 to 23. Listen, we're up 20 to 23. And we're kicking deep. I don't know what game you were watching because you completely don't understand what was going on. Josh, I do. Scored if he wanted to. He ran out all the time. I do understand. You're not getting what I'm saying. Them three points didn't mean shit. He was going to score regardless. You don't know that. But but you don't get what I'm saying. I just said, I just said, I would have felt better about the loss if. We was in position to kick the three. We kicked the three, went up 20 23. We kick it deep, pin them deep, and he go down 80 and score on us. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is we taking three off the board and they coming down and they kicking three and they win 20 to 23. I'm not okay with that. Yes, I want the bump. Line it up. How about line it up? You are absolutely full. Line it up. I'm a ball. Bro, you keep I'm definitely a problem. Three points, like it was three. They lost by. He ran the ball out. The he didn't. They lost by three. Do shit. He literally did what he wanted to do. Yeah, and kicked the field goal and just looked at them and laughed at their ass. I think Jim Harbaugh keep coaching the way you coach. That's probably why no you've been having a job longer than everybody else. That's why you have a former MVP under your hands. That's why you have Super Bowls under your hands. I know a coach that I play with. Um. Jeff Fisher, his ass would have kicked the three, and we still would have lost. That's why he's the most no, we coach in NFL history. So that's no way. Crazy. Man, get up. Hey, no way. Okay. You're absolutely you fool. Absolutely absurd. I'm, I'm going to move on because right he's absolutely a fool. You got to move on because, hey, Marcus Peters, I know. This man talking about know, some analytics, know, man. This man sat here in the interview hey. and talking about analytics, man. Do you care? Do you absolutely care yeah. about your team? Yeah. And come on, man. You talking about analytics. Man, get out of here, man. He probably hit the doobie with I you at halftime. He probably job. hit the doobie what? with you at halftime. Speaking of doobies, yeah, file something in right now. Tighten me up. Get my hair right. <laughs> hey, because you know what, bro? I don't like this. Bro, you he probably hit a doobie with curves, man. I like that. Man, I got yeah, listen. Turn this real Stephen A. Bro, hey, relax. I'm just saying, that. bro. I'm just speaking real. I know how I would have felt about that. Like, come on, bro. At least give us a shot. Like, at least we could have probably hold him down to three and then probably could have hold him down to three and then shoot, maybe overtime, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what the outcome would have been. We know what it was. They end up losing the game and it is what it is. Sometimes, like we talked about in the previous show when it was um, Giants and they went for the two, they ain't have shit to lose. 
So they went for the two and they won. So it is what it is. But in this game, in that magnitude, that type of game, you kick your three, you put it on your defense back, and it is what it is. I don't want to hear nothing else. And we're going to move on. We're going to move on. Let's start coaching. (laughs) We're going to jump on this next topic. A little bit on a more serious note. Uh, You know, anytime, like, one of our brothers, uh, you know, go down or things like that, like a scary situation when we talk about the whole tour situation, like just just watching watching a guy down there on the on the field in a locked up position and you know, it's just scary. So what you yeah. think about that whole situation? Like it, it it leads back from the week before when they saying he he initially got the, yeah, concussion. the first concussion. And they let him back in the game where they said a back injury or something like that. And then for him, like even the the tackle or the hit, it didn't even seem that hard to me. Like he slammed him, but his head didn't hit the ground that hard for him to be locked up like that. So obviously something was going on with him prior to, to then from the first hit the week before. I think, I mean, what's going on with that is just basic football, young. You know how it is. We, we, when we were playing football, how many times did you see stars or see black dots coming down your eyeballs, but you got right back in the huddle and you kept playing football, right? We 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 are at a time in, in a position in football where you don't want to be looked at as a soft, you know, dude. You don't want you want to be looked at as there for your team. Um, and I think that they the team and even Tua, they both got caught up into it. Um, I think Tua wanted to play so bad and just you know, our, our competitive nature comes out and it's like, damn, okay, I might have had a concussion, but I feel straight. Oh, I'm cool. Nothing happened. I, I can still play. Um, and, you know, the team is probably like they do. They, 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 from what I'm understanding, they did do due diligence. You know, they kept checking on him and asking and making sure if he was straight or, you know, doing the test and whatnot. He, he, you know, he complied and he, he was able to pass all that stuff. Um, it's just sad because again, it's the, it's, the, it's, it's, we're forced in a sense to play, man, because you, you, you gotta be out there to get your stats. You gotta get your numbers. You want, you know, a better contract. You want to win for your team. So I think that, you know, they're both kind of in the wrong, man. I can't, I can't just fault the team because I know me, I know how many times that, you know, I felt, you know, banged up or my head wasn't right. And I went right back into that huddle where I told the, you know, the, the trainers, listen, I know I feel okay. I'm okay. And I'm seeing stars and, I barely can hear, understand what the play is. But, you know, in that moment, I, I didn't want to let my team down. So, for some reason, I was being selfish. But I thought that that was how you were supposed to be in football. And I think that that's all of us growing up, that you don't want to let your team down. So, you don't want to be the guy looking soft. Oh, I got, I'm hurt. I can't play. So, I think that, you know, they kind of got caught up into their ego. So, I kind of put that on both of them people, man, or both of the – uh, both of them, to be honest. It's just not on Tua. I feel bad for Tua because he should be playing. Obviously, the higher up should have stepped in. But, you know, when the pressure of a player is getting pressure to the coach, like, I'm good, I can play, I can play. Sometimes, you know, the coach is overwhelmed with his emotions and he, he probably goes out his norm. So, you know, but from my understanding, and you absolutely right on every, on every topic and every point that you're touching on, but from my understanding, um, I thought they took it completely and not just talking about the tour situation, but I'm just talking about the whole NFL and the whole concussion, concussion protocol and things these days. I thought they took the whole control out of the player's hands. Like right. the, the the doctor and the trainers have to allow, allow them back in, like throughout all the tests and all that. And I think that's why they under scrutiny because they're saying like, not f- from the week before that they didn't do their due diligence. You know what I'm saying? That they didn't do yeah. anything as far as the protocol calling down stuff because they said it was one point, I guess, when he was walking off the field or something, he was stumbling. And So isn't that the independent? Don't they have independent people up there that call down and be like, get them out the Yeah, it's the stuff? doctors. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why the, oh, doctor, okay. got, the doctor got fired. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, you can say tour, you can say the team, you can say the doctor, but at the end of the day, it's the you gotta blame the Dolphins because they hired this guy. So like yeah. me, like, and it was crazy because um me and a couple people was having this conversation, and my thoughts on it was like, man, 
I hear what everybody talking about, but even if it was the Dolphins, if it was if it was the Dolphins, if it was the Doctor, if it was Tua, guess who's not gonna take the fall for this? The Dolphins it are ain't gonna be Dolphins. Yeah, it's not gonna be the, so, it's yeah not gonna so we be fired a doctor, but like if the doctor did what he was supposed to do and told them, like, nah, Tua don't need to be playing or this and that. And you got to think, Dolphins ain't won in so long. Like, I can't remember yeah. the last time. Now they starting off, what, 3-0? and Or they was 2-0 at the time at 3-0 and pressure. They want to win so bad. Yes, so sir. it's like, who said, like, okay, like, Tua may, Tua may have said, man, I'm good, coach. And by him yeah. saying that, they probably like, okay, he's saying he's good. They probably didn't do the whole protocol, what they were supposed to do. And still yeah. let him play. So at the end of the day, that falls back. It has to fall back on the Dolphins when it comes to me. Like, because I'm pretty sure, man, the doc, even though the doctor works for the Dolphins, he's still a doctor at the end of the day. So yeah, you I'm just sure. heard, you, you just you just said it, young. He works for the Dolphins. Like, yeah, but what I'm saying is I'm pretty sure. Him. Yeah, but no, what I'm saying is I'm pretty sure he told them he probably he's not yeah, in shape to play. To going in. Going in, and then somebody had to override. I don't know where it came from. Somebody had to override, and well, it's just a coincidence you know that it happened. The 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 next game, for, now he getting pulled off on a stretcher. Like somebody got to pay for this. You know what's crazy though about this? Just think about even when the um the coach got fired and he did the, the lawsuit. He's been talking about you know the wow. oh, Miami, that's dumb like, yeah, you know the Miami. So it's like, listen, right now Miami's face isn't clean by no means. Like they've been doing a lot of bull crap. You know, I, I feel like they fired Brian Flores without just do anyway. He was a great coach. It ain't like he had much to win with down there. He did a great job, and they just get rid of him. And then he comes out with the lawsuit, and then like it makes sense now. You got Tua. The doctor's getting fired. It's like, listen, the Dolphins, by some way, they don't want to be caught red-handed. So they, yeah, they definitely need to shake down, young, because they're doing whatever they can. They need to like the like the same way that the, the Reds, I mean, the, the Washington football, the Commanders, whatever, man. Sorry. The team, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> just yeah. like when Dan <laughs> Snyder got like they had him in, or just like they just did the Phoenix Suns owner. And listen, they might need to to, to probe into the Miami Dolphins, and really see what's going on and not let the NFL do the, the damn shit. We need somebody from the outside to come in because I don't really trust the NFL to do shit. We know that they're working together. It's, it is what it is. Yeah. It's, it's a crazy situation, man. You know, and I hope he get healthy real soon, be able to go back out there because they was having a good season. He was having a good season. And, man, you know, hey. prayers just up for him. No, for sure. You know, that's, again, you don't ever want to see anything like that. Um, you know, we play with I've, – I've, I've had a few – I've had more than a few concussions. I haven't had the lockup concussions like that, but I played with a few, you know, my brothers that have had it. Um, you know, some of them definitely still suffer long term. So, hopefully, you know, our prayers is with Tua, and hopefully he can, you know, bounce back and get back on that, that, that season. Uh, I mean, on the field fast because my homeboy Cheese – you know you gonna need them, boy. Cheese beats. You gonna need them, boy. <laughs> Cheese been talking about this. I know you don't believe in Teddy B, man. You, hey, Teddy, I love you, bro. You my brother, but bro, uh, you gonna have to show me something, man. Cause this shit about to get real. Yeah, it's gonna get real. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm glad that you just said that. Cause I just want to tap on something real quick. Um, yeah. Our team, my team, whatever you want to call it, because you know you be Brady and this and that. But I just want to tell Brady people, fanatic, but I'm a Titan. I'm a Titan. Yeah, I just want to tell people, man. At the end of the day, the Titans were two and two. Don't panic. It's still early. It's a long season. It's a lot of people panicking, but don't worry. Okay, I'm panicking. Traylon Burks went wow. out of the game because Traylon Burks, our number one draft pick that we gave away for AJ. Eugene Brown. I don't know if his middle name is Eugene, but a baller's mm. name is Eugene, so that's why we call him Eugene around here. Right. He's been dominating with Eagles. We really literally let this man go. We draft the first-round draft pick. He's just got carted off. I don't know if he's playing or if he's going to be out there, but I haven't heard his name really called all year. So, man, I, you may not be panicked, TK, but I'm mm. kind of panicking right now. Derrick Henry can mm. carry us. Yeah. With but you know why? Nobody to throw it to. It's just looking, man. It, I know Robert know, Woods, and it's my guy, but we need a tight end or somebody else. 
Yeah. The reason why I'm not panicking because what I seen Sunday, what I seen Sunday gave me a reason not to panic, right? What feed the beast? No, not even that. Like, even like let's just just say Derrick Henry game. He had okay yeah. game this game, right? He had okay game. I think he had a hundred yards, hundred and some yards. I'm not sure what the carries per on um, the average was. He had an okay game. Yeah. He didn't have the normal Derrick Henry game, but you can't always have that game. So he put together a solid game. Yeah. But what so. impressed me Sunday was we got back to old Titan football. We're gonna run the ball, we're gonna put yeah. it in his hands, and we're gonna play good defense. We held one of the best. Probably like the top, if not one, two, or three back in the league, we held, like, we shut him down. Yeah, Jay Stewart. We shut him down on defense, so we went back to the old tight. We're going to run the football, and we're going to play defense. Know what I'm saying? We we had yeah. a good game. So that's why I say don't panic. We still right there. We two and two. Great divisional win. And, we, you know, we got time to turn things around. You know what, bro? I like how you even just did that. You know what I mean? Because I'm going to get into something right there. Because you just mentioned Derrick Henry. Uh, I think I said Jay Stu. Jonathan Taylor, rather, is his name. Uh, Bro, this is a great debate. Because I've been getting a lot of questions on who the best running back is in the NFL mm -hmm. right now. And right before now. you answer, I remember earlier this season, you told me people not to draft a certain player. Hey, we're not, hey, not going to do that just yet. We're not going to talk about that. Well, we're going to talk about the number one running back in the NFL right now. Sorry, Derrick Henry, you my guy. You will always be the king. You definitely top three. Nicholas Eugene Chubb, definitely the best running back in the NFL. By far, hands down, the best running back. You, 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 you screw your face up like you just drank a shot or something. I know you ain't drinking in there. That's all that nice tequila behind you. You ain't took one shot today. But – you make that face like what, what's that about? Nicholas Chubb is by far the best running back in the league. Are you debating this? Or are you who do you, who are you putting at number one? Because I put number um, two Saquon, a guy that you told everybody to stay away from, and fantasy football has been dominating this year. Yeah, he has. Oh, and, hold on. And, and Baker ain't no way. This in hell is, is we're talking about running backs. Yeah, I bet. Okay, <laughs> my bad. We're not talking about quarterbacks. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> let's get this straight. Yeah. I said stay away from Saquon because he had to prove that he can stay healthy, not because of his ability. And I showed, like a few shows ago, I took that on the chin. And I say I was wrong. And the crazy, yeah. I even but have the, Saquon. But the two running backs. I took it on the chin. I took the it on the chin. The two running backs you said to stay away from been dominating this who, year. Who? So no. Far. Who? Christian McCaffrey been having a great season Don't, so far. No, you crazy. Have you lost your mind? Don't you do that. Don't Are you, you after a rabbit? Look it up. Look it up. You after a rabbit. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. why he's not doing good? Because you're sorry ass quarterback. Don't do that. You said – Comeback player of the year. Don't he's do gonna, that. He's going to be the breakout player. This man ain't threw for more than 300 yards in one game yet. We talking about running backs, back. though. McCaffrey is why. not. What? It's, Come it's on, bro. because you're – based you're on tripping. what you were saying. You're today, tripping. Based on, I'm basing off on, fantasy football. Stay away from McCaffrey. Where have he averaged this year? McCaffrey. Okay. Let me – Fantasy let me, points. Before you – no, before you we going because you to, said yeah. Fantasy. All right, but the number one guy you said No, they had say but listen, what I'm saying is if we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk, we're gonna get into it then. If right. that's what you wanna do, if that's Who what you, you wanna do, we're gonna get into we can it. Get into uh, it. Let's get, let's into, get into, it. into it. Saquon Barkley leads the league in rushing. No. My guy, Nick no, Chuck, we talking about no, you, you said yeah, Saquon, yeah, we talking about McCaffrey, Ooh. right? He's We're still talking. top 15 rushing with weak-ass Baker Mayfield. That's what we I'm trying about. to tell you. Oh, well, no, you know that. You know we talking about. more than anybody, bro. Stop playing that. Do, don't do that. We're talking let's about McCaffrey, man, right? Chris, hey, Christopher, let's be real with each other for one you. second, man. Yeah, let's talk about McCaffrey. Let's talk about him. Let's so, talk about him. He has 30 less yards than Derrick Henry this year. So, rushing. Listen. So, let's talk about it. Let's Listen, talk about it. let's talk about it. So you said I was wrong in my assessment when we was talking about 
um, McCaffrey, right? Basically. McCaffrey was number one draft pick in fantasy. He was number one. And McCaffrey is only – this year he's only averaging 17 points. So who – okay. Since you no, I'm just saying he's league, only averaging uh, who, 17 points. So who who leads the league and who what running back leads the league in fantasy right now? Please tell me. I'm pretty sure it is Saquon. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure right. it's Saquon. But he's – but, but, but McCaffrey is not putting up – he's not putting up number one pick numbers. Okay. He's not picking up number one pick number. That's just, all I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not talking about these because I know these guys that I'm naming. These guys are great athletes. They're real good players. But if I'm talking fantasy football, I'm yeah. not picking McCaffrey okay. with the number one pick. I'm not picking Saquon with the. I'm not picking Saquon with the number one pick based off the years before. But I already said I was wrong about Saquon. Yeah. Right I was now, wrong, if, and well, no, I don't look. I, I I I don't look because I drafted him. <laughs> but I'll tell you this: I drafted right, him. Well, but let's, listen, let's but my, but hold up! No, 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 no. We no, you ain't get my my backs, my backs. I though. don't want to. Oh, who's your top? No, yeah, get your top no, three. because you said your you said three. your top three. But what I'm I'm going in Saquon. I gotta no. give him his flowers. He's been doing his thing. He's leading the league in rushing, leading the league in scrimmage yards. Man, kudos to him. What I no, want to no, do bro. is, I don't want to. I don't want you to do that. I, I do. I already do gave my three. kudos. No, I no, am. We, I'm saying we go three right now. I don't want right five. now three, three. Right, right now, now, what's going crazy is Saquon is going crazy. No, no. I'm going to name the bags three? that's having a bat. The the the, the, oh the best bats right God. now. This Saquon is going crazy. Saquon is going crazy. Going crazy. Nick Chubb is going crazy. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, give flowers to um Miles Sanders, Philly. He's 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 going. No, nah, you know who thing. I'm giving flowers to? Cordell Patterson. This you gotta, man that came listen. in. He's a Swiss Army knife. The man came in returning kicks, doing quarter. I mean, yeah. playing receiver, doing all that. And this man, I don't know if this like year eleven, he's number four. Whatever it is, is. He fourth in Russia. I yeah, he's fourth in Russia right now. Kudos. Hey, man, you on my fantasy team, man. Get healthy. I know you out for the next four weeks. You on IR. Man, get back But you right, also man. started Alvin Kamara last week, and he didn't even play. Because I had to – listen, by the time I woke up, <laughs> the game was at 9 in the morning. I didn't know that. The classic mistake of a fantasy owner. <laughs> and I still yeah. lost that game by three points, even without him. Like, That's I woke, it? Like, it was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. But, yeah, Cordero Patterson, he definitely got to get his flowers. I talked about him last time. He definitely a guy, once he get back um, from injury, um, keep in mind flex or whatever like that. But, yeah, he went down to a knee injury this past week. And he's still fourth Man. in the whole entire league in Russia. We talking about a guy that came in lead playing receiver. They moved yeah. in the running back, and he's fourth in the he's whole league in Russia. So, yeah. I, 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 I salute my dog. Mm-hmm. All right, bro. Well, let's. I'm a, we talked about it a little earlier about my dog AJ Brown. Bro, what about these Eagles? How, are Eagles. you? Are they? Listen, do you think they real? Because from what I'm seeing right now, listen, Mike Sanders balling. He top three rushing right now. He doing his thing. AJ Brown showing. I don't know why y'all didn't pay me. He clearly is a beast. Jalen Hurts. I. Give you a round of applause. I honestly, man, I knew you were good. I ain't going I didn't, I just didn't know it was gonna be this good. He he's showing me um every every tool that you need to be an excellent, you know, top tier quarterback in the NFL. He knows how to he got the deep ball, he knows how to get down in the pocket, he knows how to run and get extra yards, man. The man is hitting all his receivers. Hey, Jalen, you dope, man. I, I I didn't know you was that dope. So my bad. I just need you to trade AJ Brown back to the Titans right down now because we ain't. I don't know what you think about these damn Eagles, though. Man, they're Why having a good year. Guy? Yeah, they having a good year. Jalen Hurts is stepping up. Um, AJ Brown is doing what we all knew he could do. Miles Sanders sure. doing his thing, and they, it's like you know, anytime you got your off offensive line, good offensive line up front, your quarterback's playing good ball. 
your running back doing his thing and your receiver doing his thing. Anytime the offense yeah. is clicking on all cylinders, it's going to be hard to beat that team. But at the end right. of the day, I haven't bought all the way in. So who are you I, going with? I, I haven't bought all the way in. And um, who's your top? Who's your top NFL team right now? The Eagles, the only undefeated team, and they've been, they been winning easily. It ain't like they've been struggling. They've been yep, whooping I, on people. My thing was tripping my bad, but yeah, I haven't bought all the way in because you know the Eagles gonna be the Eagles. You know what I'm saying? Where? But I just feel like I need to see. I need to see. I need to see this play for a couple more weeks. For me to buy all the way in. I'm not buying in this early, man. Like, I'm not buying in this early. It looks good. It looks good, but I have to deep into so, the season. A couple more games. Right. I ain't bought in yet. I ain't bought in yet. I can tell you who I did, who I'm buying into, though. Kansas City Chiefs. Um, without the loss, I mean, with the loss of Tyreek Hill. I, honestly, time. I, I thought that... um. I, I ain't gonna lie. Well, I just thought it. I mean, I didn't think it was gonna be that sweet. You know what I mean? Exactly. I thought it was gonna be harder. But I mean, How? I think they look nice. I still just don't believe them all the way. I don't either. You I just don't. bought into them. I don't believe. No, them I don't buy in. in. I don't buy in. All oh, so you so you don't buy in? I buy in. Yeah, I don't buy in. I'm not <laughs> buying in. <laughs> Which one? I hella not buying in just because you thought I was gonna go there. Well, I, okay, no. so I, if you don't buy into that, then do you buy Tom into them? Do you know? Okay. Do you buy into the whole media aspect when there, is the divorce real? Tom Brady, Giselle, is it real? I think it's real. I think that Tom might be sick of her shit. I think Tom's sick of it. Why do you think he's? Why do you think he's sick of it? I mean, bro, and listen, this is just me. I might be speaking self, but this is just me being honest with myself. Okay, you play football, right? We start playing football usually, you know, as a, some type of, you know, pal, peewee football, right? You're like, I don't know, 10, 11. Sometimes you start earlier. You play this game. You hear about some of your friends stopping football right after pal football. Some go on to high school. Some have to stop at high school. Some go to college, right? Some end up being Tom Brady where you end up playing 22 years at an elite level and you can't just walk away. This is your career. Some of us are forced to walk away. His wife, don't, she doesn't have to stop modeling. She can model for her whole life. But to me, it's like, oh, he's going back to football. He's leaving the kids at home. It's like, no, this is his career. He loves this. And literally, when he walks away from this young, he'll never be able to play football a day in his life again at that level. So to me, I feel like people are being selfish. They're like, oh, he's done it for 20 years. He's done it. I mean, he's won all these Super Bowls. He has a beautiful wife at home. It's time for him to take care of his kids. But I know me as a football player and not being able to play football for the last 10 years, it's, it sits with you for the rest of your life, and you want to get out there and play so bad. But everybody else around you, like, it's time for me. It's me time. And he's like, no, man, it's me time until I ain't got no more time or nothing left in the tank. So – I honestly, I, I give my hat off to Tom because, bro, we all wish we could play at that level this long, especially in a career that since you was a kid, you said you were going to do that, and now you're the greatest? Come on, man. I I, I don't know. Maybe Giselle, she, she wants him at home for the kids. I don't know what AB might have uh, – you know what I mean? I don't know what you think it is. But I'm just saying, you all of that is speculation. Who says even have anything to do with football? What, what So what would – what would you think would be the reason after, I don't know, 15 years? I don't know how long they've been together, 20 years. I don't years, know. Why would they? I, honestly, that's that's why, like, we bring it up. We talk about it. But, like, relationships and marriage, like uh, like other people, relationships and other people, marriage and stuff, I don't really, like, I don't really, like, give my opinion on it and really yeah, tell, be, okay. and speculate on it because we never know what it is. Like we, the yeah. media, they talking football. We talking about coming back, playing football, this and that. It could be yeah. anything. The, the the divorce rate is so high in, in the U.S. Like it's high. Yeah. So we don't know what it could be. It could be anything. Like it could be anything. how we know like apart. Right. they could be growing apart. We keep saying this and like she's selfish because she don't want to play football. How we know that Tom just, like you say, Tom like, probably sick of her. Like he yeah. wanted, he don't want her no more. He just want to like 
we don't know what it is. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's good to touch on it. Hey, but I just don't want people to speculate. speculate. You never know. Yeah, you can't speculate, hey, yeah. man. I don't speculate, nigga. You know why I'm speculating? Because so many people speculate on me in my career. I'm speculating to death. I think dog just want to, you know, bro, he's a football player. He's been doing this for more than half of his life. That's all he knows. So he probably got home this summer, was hanging out with some of them kids. Like, boy, y'all bad as hell, man. I got, man, I got to go back to work or something. I got to go do something, man. But yeah, it's easy I'm to do that when, sure, it's easy to, to, to go home and say you're retiring and then kids getting on your nerves and then, sure, you got, you leaving 50 million on the table. I'm going back to work. It's, well, it made that decision that much easier to go it's, back it's when so I'm going back easier. to, Either hey, you come back and make vet minimum, or you make fifty million. What you doing? I'm going to work. Until yeah, they I'm tell work, me man. if I can make fifty a year, I'm going to work. And they until they tell me not to come back no more. See, and that's what I think people are talking about. Like he don't do it. He don't need to do it for the money. It's like why would? He, but why not? not? Only yes, I do. Fifty. Money, and and he loves this. And he's still dominating. The man just threw for a career high in yards and touchdowns or something like that last year. And you think, why would he walk away? To me, that was awkward for him to come out out of nowhere saying he was retired. I just, uh, I kind of felt like that was pressure from the family anyway. You know what I mean? Because no, I just, don't know, I ain't man. Gonna, I ain't, but no, I ain't going to even lie. Just from like going through the situation, it's like sometimes like going into my last year, right? I'm like, man, y'all yeah, going through training camp, this and that. Yeah. I'm going to retire. I never told nobody, but I knew after year 10, like, I'm I'm going to retire. Like, I'm going to retire or whatever. Yeah. So, ended up going through whatever, retiring, and then, like, you say you want to retire, you retire. Then you come home, and it don't, it don't matter. It don't matter. Kids, wife, girl, no lifestyle. matter what it is. It's just the lifestyle, like you're not really understanding what this lifestyle is because you go from your whole life on a schedule, you're doing this, you're around the guys, whatever it is. Now I'm home, yeah. I'm chilling, because I'm pretty sure like when he went home and he said he was retired, he probably wasn't like on that same schedule. So he probably was there chilling, waking yeah. up like, dang, what I'm gonna do today? Yeah, like, you can I'm only doing. wake up and go play golf so many times. like. Yeah. Like what I'm gonna do? Like, and you don't have nothing, and that shit get boring. So I was like, man, you know what? I got 50 M's on the table. I'm finna just go and get that. I'm finna go. On. I'm finna play. Like, might as well. Yeah, I, don't like, I don't know too many people, and Jeff Bezos. I know he got billions, but if they got 50 million to just go do something you love, and that's been you know the back of your hand for 25 years, man, you definitely gonna go do that, man. So yeah, I get like you said, the speculation is everything for us. We really don't know why. I can't wait to well, – we probably never really understand why because I think Tom and Giselle understand that they probably need to keep that shit under wraps because right. tabloids love to do it. So I think they got to understand it, but we'll probably never understand or never get the real reason, man. But hopefully they can reconcile or do whatever they got to do because, like, one of my OG homeboy partners told me back in the day, it's cheaper to keep them. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know. That was a real deal, real one, man. You know, it's always nice getting with you, man, and going over these things, brother. It's, you know, fun and games, hold on, brother. Hold it's on. serious. Before you get out of here, hold on, before you get out of here, is USC real or not? Are they real or not? Huh? Huh? Oh, can't now hear you, you. Oh, now you, oh, you can hear it, boy. These people are crazy. Hey, and, okay, and who, who, give me your NBA pick for this year. Who's going to win a championship? Come on, man. Stop playing, man. Who? Baker Mayfield cousin, man. LeBron oh, James. My. <laughs> oh, my God. I love you. I'm a Laker fan, so I ain't mad at that. Listen, I know Bronny ain't claiming Baker ass no more after this season. I tell you that right now, TJ. <laughs> but, yes, hey, sir. it's always fun doing this smash and dash, man. I appreciate it, man. It's you, fun, man. And know. give Reggie, man, give Reggie Bush his Heisman back, man. Give it back. You did? Yeah. Give my dog his Heisman. Yes, sir. I ain't mad at it. Yeah, Reg, get your Heisman back, man. Yeah. Get your All Heisman. Right. We out of here.